Alright, so today we're gonna be talking about Mob of the Dead Remastered, and as you guys know, I've been making 10 things type of videos on my channel, and hey, guess what? I found 10 things why Mob of the Dead will be remastered. Yes, it's going to happen. Basically, at this time, or at this point in time, you would have seen everyone scream, Mob of the Dead Remastered, and everyone is hyped as F, and I'm screaming Mob of the Dead Remastered too. Yeah, consider this me screaming, basically, but hey, we have a solid evidence, and I'm pretty damn sure you will be convinced that it will happen and real quick I want to shout out some of my brand new subscribers and I will be shouting some of you guys out throughout the video as well so don't worry I got you but if you do end up subscribing too hey let me know in the comments so I can feature you in my next video but coming in at our number one spot now normally what I like to do is I go from 10 to 1 but in this video we're gonna go from 1 to 10 but at our number one spot we have the remaster loading screen itself now check this out my boy oh, once again I don't know him but let's just say Lightning Fire is my boy now because he is my boy. So he actually posted this remaster loading screen over on Call of Duty Zombies subreddit. So a huge, huge shout out to him because I personally don't have the comic book. So that's like a huge help. Now check this out. We have the remaster loading screen itself. And on the left hand side, it's basically the same old. But on the right hand side, we have a new page. Basically the original remastered or the original loading screen, not the remaster. The original loading screen page on the right Right hand side is ripped basically revealing the other side of the the comic and we can see the new page that has a lot going on now first of all we can see Rick off and scribbling and everything like that and it says I have a secret I must follow the damn plan it doesn't say damn but I just like hey let me just throw that out you know what I'm saying quality meme right there oh, on this screen we have a lot going on we got the blood vials we also have some sort of Easter egg that is possibly hinting at the London then zombies my bitch we're gonna talk in just a little bit so that's that we can see Rick Toffin actually talking or shaking hands or giving someone or receiving something back from maybe the guy that we have seen in the Mob of the Dead Zombies trailer maybe he's Weasel but uh, a lot of people are saying he's Weasel but I've seen also like people theorizing that it's like the the guard from Mob of the Dead so if you think about anything I mean your theory is just good as mine and mine is just good as you yours so that's that but beneath we can see a teleportation and we can also see the uh, basically the teleportation we're gonna be talking about it in just a little bit because uh, we have seen something it's a huge hint guys and we're gonna talk about it in just a little bit and we can also see the the cells or not the cells but basically those machines that we have seen first of all we have seen my boy Dancy in one of those cells or I'm not sure how you actually call it or I'm not sure what's the correct term to describe that but we have seen in the rise and draft basically when we do the last or final or the main Easter egg throwing a lot of words at you guys but uh, you know what I'm saying by coming in at our number two spot now mob of the dead being a pre-order bonus map for the next game and a lot of people are speculating about that so do I and it's a good theory it's a good sort of like speculation because uh, I I'm pretty damn sure Blendel will be like scratching his head hey let, let me just make mob of the dead a pre-order bonus map and when people pre-order they get mob of the dead and TBH I can see this happen because from a marketing standpoint this is going to be great it's going to be phenomenal because uh, if they do that a lot of people will pre-order the game meaning they will actually boost their sale and they are all about boosting sales of their brand new video games or DLCs or whatever right you you probably get the idea so that can happen and I also want to throw a cheeky little hint at you guys I'm not sure if I'm gonna be talking about this throughout the video or I may make a dedicated video because we have a lot of shit to talk about basically we have heard denizens in the mob of the dead trailer and that was released years ago I will just play a little clip let's just not play the clip I, I may make a separate video but we have heard denizen audio or denizen sound in mob of the dead original trailer which is huge and there are a lot of but coming in at our number three spot we're talking about the London zombies map that may be a disc map like we have seen shadows of evil being a disc map for black ops 3 transit being a disc map you know how that goes right but london zombies map is most likely going to be a disc map although it's not confirmed but we have a lot of proof and we have a lot of hints basically in uh the rise and the Rock, we had a newspaper revealing that there was a breakout in london and there are zombies there and we have also got the same thing in zombies chronicles in moon remaster and now we have this thing in 
Moon or not Moon, I mean Mob of the Dead remaster loading screen. So that's that. And also, coming in at our number four spot, I'm just gonna merge both of them together. Basically, Revelation's house. It's in England. And the intro cutscene for Revelation actually shows us the house, and it is absolutely phenomenal. And I am pretty damn sure we're going to actually get this map and we're gonna play on this map maybe with the transit crew or maybe with the shadows of evil crew because there are a lot of theories that shadows of evil crew members and transit crew members will be present in the next game most likely in the next upcoming zombie map uh, of course if they choose transit crew then it's gonna be them but we also going to get back the shadows of evil crew at some point in time the only reason why I think a London zombies map gonna happen in the next game is obviously Obviously the fact that we got so many easter eggs hinting at that map but also the fact that we got revelations and uh, it shows the house that is based in or based off of England but I really feel like it's going to happen and Treyarch is someone that loves to merge maps and merge storyline all together so it makes it coherent if you know what I'm saying so I can really feel this happen but coming in at our number five spot we're talking about Mob of the Dead why it wasn't remastered in Zombies Chronicles now there are a lot of like factors or a lot of things why it was a number one of course they wanted this to be in the next game because it's going to boost its sales and obviously it's gonna be much better if it's in the next game and they don't want to give us too too much in black ops 3 obviously they gave us like origins and that's like a big huge map Kino their totem as well moon itself as well is a humongous map and it plays a humongous role in the zombie storyline if you know what I'm saying and uh, mob of the dead is just a giant map I'm not talking about the the reason the giant map but I'm just saying the word giant mob of the dead is a giant map it's going to be huge if we see in the next game and we're most likely going to see it because it's going to enhance or make the storyline go further and Blendel said Mob of the Dead wouldn't be fit in Zombies Chronicles but hey we may see it again and when he does that or when he gives us that look it's most likely going to happen and now we have this damn remastered loading screen as well but coming in at our number six spot we're talking about the storyline needs to be connected I just briefly talk about that but I want to reiterate the fact that the storyline needs to be connected and we can see the premise character which I'm gonna talk about in just a little bit that's gonna be over number eight spot uh, the premise crew is here and the uh, the original crew is here as well we can see both of them uh, we're, we're gonna get into it in just a little bit but number seven we were talking about the mob of the dead plane we have seen in black ops 3 we have seen in shadows of evil we have seen a lot of references where like the the shadows of evil characters knew uh, Weasel, if you know what I'm saying. We have also seen the Mob of the Dead plane in the Giant, and uh, we have also seen in Zetsubu no Shima, which is surprising indeed. Basically, Mob of the Dead is everywhere, but coming in at our number 8 spot, we're talking about premise will start in the next track game, whatever it's going to be. Let's just call it Black Ops 4 for now, right? I'm pretty damn sure it's gonna be called something else, but hey, some people are saying it's gonna be called Black Ops 4, so I don't know, but let's just call it Black Ops 4 for now, right? So, premise will start in that because obviously we have seen revelation ending cutscene and in that we have seen premise and the original crew is kind of like uh, killed by Dr. Monty, I'm pretty damn sure they will be resurrected in some way, shape, or form, or maybe they are dead, who knows, but Primus will be in Black Ops 4, and it's going to be huge, and we can see the Primus character in the loading screen as well, we can see Richtofen taking or receiving the blood vial from Weasel or from the guard, for now we don't really know, but coming in at our number 9 spot, the transit crew being in the London map, or in Mob of the Dead because the thing I was talking about earlier it's most likely going to be Shadows of Evil crew or the transit crew but there are a lot of theories I may make a separate video basically the thing is both of them are going to be someone that we're going to see in the near future obviously not all together if it happens it's gonna just blow my mind but the thing is uh, we have heard the denizen sound in Mob of the Dead trailer. I guess I'll, I'm gonna play a little bit right now so you get what I'm saying, and I will be right back. Alcatraz. They used to call it Evil Island. And we were about to find out why. <laughs> Yeah. 
So as you guys heard, this was like years ago and it was already in the trailer, meaning that Victus or the transit crew, and of course we have learned about Victus in the zombie storyline recently, so everything is sort of like connecting all together and it does make sense. So maybe we're gonna play as the transit crew in uh, Mob of the Dead because you have to keep this in mind that Mob of the Dead is not going to be remastered, it's going to be a remake map. Obviously in terms of graphics it's going to be remastered, but it's going to be a remake map where the storyline will be a little changed and uh, not really changed but we're gonna see the following if you know what I'm saying so in that regard I can very well see it being played as the premise character or maybe by the transit crew or maybe we're gonna see reference to the transit crew if we end up playing with our 04 characters because at our number 10 spot we're talking about the Zetsubu Nishima teleportation now check this out on the loading screen we can see Rick often teleporting and guess what we have seen this happen in the ending cutscene of Zetsubu no Shima. now check this out this is gonna sound like a cluster app because it really is now Rick often teleport from Zetsubu no Shima to Mob of the Dead collects the blood vial and go back and go to Gorai Kurovi with all the other characters and everything like that now he is one of the 04 he's the original origins character but we see the premise one obviously there's not enough proof if that's the premise character or not but there are a lot of theories that he is a premise character because obviously we have seen uh, the, the premise character in the revelation ending cutscene but hey maybe it's gonna be that where like we're gonna play as them in another map but not necessarily in mob of the dead so that's that so we can counter that in that regards but the transit crew and the shadows of evil crew there is just a lot of proof and a lot of speculation but a lot of people are theorizing about that and I'll may make a separate video to why that is and everything like that But to me it makes sense that we're gonna play this map as O4 characters because obviously we go from Zetsubu Nishima into Mob of the Dead Maybe we're going to get some sort of reference like that Mob of the Dead was in fact visited by transit crew Because that's why we heard the denizen sound effect if you know what I'm saying because it's not a coincidence like why uh, Trek actually put the denizen sound Sound effect in Mob of the Dead. It's not a coincidence. It's like it's real. But let me know your thoughts in the comment section down below. Check out some other videos on the screen if you have missed any of them. Subscribe if you haven't to be new. Smash the like button if you did enjoy this video. And it is time to be hyped.